absolutely wonderful. Mm. I cannot remember the last time I've had ribs and a good cold beer. Mm -hmm. Good. Remember, you are divorcing Alan for what he did to you. It is not the other way around. You're right. You're right. Hell with Alan. As I've said before, he and Lucy deserve each other. To me, and to you, and to Ned. Ned? Hello. Ah, uh, to us. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on now. Sorry. I don't want any moping. Not allowed here. Tonight we celebrate. I was just thinking about I don't that. care what you're thinking. I want to talk about the wedding plans. Well, actually, we haven't thought much about it. Well, now's a perfect time, then. Where would you like to get married? In a church or at the house? Which house? Yours or at Windermere. That's where we're going to live. Oh, that's wonderful. And how much that means to you. What do you think, man? I really don't know what to think. I'm, these new tenants, I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know what their plans are. Do you really think they would have done such extensive redecorating if they were only going to stay for a short time? Mm. Extensive how? I mean, did they just hang a couple of pictures and put some carpet down or what? I'm talking you wouldn't recognize the place. Damn bald one is all his fault. Come on, Ned. It looks great. Whoever these people are, they have terrific taste. Sounds like they have terrific money, too. And they've saved us a lot of time and trouble. I don't like it. Oh, come on, Ned, for heaven's sakes. It looks like you're coming out on top in this one. For one, Monica, these people are compulsive about anybody being on that. They treat Dawn and I like we were common criminals. Uh, they acted like they own the place. Okay, they're eccentric. That's what Baldwin said. Well, they have enough money, they can indulge their eccentricity. I don't know. I've got a funny feeling something weird's going on out there. <laughs>